everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Sound of Madness. And uh, today we're uh, bringing you a float move because my father-in-law crashed his truck and we're here to pick it up at the tow yard and we're going to bring it to his house and maybe see if we can repair his truck. Uh, it smashed pretty good. Father-in-law's not hurt majorly. He did get a broken wrist in the accident, but other than that, he's okay. So what we're going to do is load the float with his pickup and uh, we're going to bring it to his house. Hey Robert, you're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna drive his pickup truck out and uh, we're gonna put it on the trailer, we're gonna chain it down and uh, start searching for an eight foot box for a 2002 Chev. If anybody out there knows where we can find an eight foot box for it, that'd be great. And then uh, we gotta change uh, axle in the rear end because it's got a bent axle. Other than that though, She's driving Look, it's still moving. It's like Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert's gonna leave. Is those wraps lined up? Not too sharp, Dad. Hey. Not too shabby. Oh. Are the shocks fucking broken? I hit it in the astral, eh? I think it's the hub, maybe the rim is better. I think it's the rim. Alright. So, Dad's okay. The truck, well, it can be repaired. And that's the only thing that matters. Watch yourself. So there you go, it's loaded, it's chained, it's ready for its travel to my father-in-law's house. We'll get her there, she's gonna walk around, make sure nothing's gonna come off the trailer or anything. Lights are working. There's nothing loose anywhere. Looks good. So in case you're wondering, it's chained to the rear end in the back and uh, control arms in the front that ain't gonna move. It's all locked up. Let's go for a rip. Deliver this thing.
turn to the corner and just pass the road. Yeah. By the ice cream store. Yeah. You go there and get ice cream lots? No, uh, I have not much for ice cream. I don't know what you charge me. Should have been six hundred and something. She said six thirty something plus tax. That's it there. Six forty six. That's our protection right there. See the blinking light? Yeah. Dash cam. Yeah, here, Dad. We're at fault for an accident to catch it on the camera. Yeah. 646. That's about right with tax. Today, Dad. service lot. I don't know if it's serviced here. Yeah, it's think so either Don. Right. It doesn't look too bad. Looks like just a box. Your yeah, box, your, your bumper. Your wheels bent. The boot, yeah. yeah, your wheels bent. Well that's good. You're not going up here. No. Oh, you want to turn here? Well it's closer if we can. Instead of going to town. You know the you know the room here? Yeah, well, it's because if somebody stops it, I'm
people don't. the father-in-law's truck delivered to his house and now we're going to return to the shop drop this truck off and go do some groceries at the grocery store and uh yeah, i mean yeah. steak tonight and i'm gonna make my father-in-law pay for it that's gonna be his bill for me uh i'm gonna work but not work on my day off our day off Ooh. hello telephone pole how are you doing People look at you funny when you're driving on streets you're not supposed to be on. It's fine by me. But yeah. I think I can turn here and go back on the highway. Yeah. This is a transit route, so there would be higher wires. Come over here, almost the open stop sign. Not touch anybody's lawn. Look at that. That's that's how you do that. But yeah, so we'll see you when we get back to the shop, folks. So, Mrs. Madness, what do you yeah. think about uh, today's float job it and was, helping out your dad? It was very successful and, uh, yeah, very thankful. Absolutely. Right on. Best driver in the world. Mr. Where? Madness. Yeah, this guy back here. Yes. Oh, you're a pretty good float operator, too. Just so you guys know, this lady right here is also an AZ driver and a float truck driver. So Mrs. Madness is also a truck driver, just Absolutely. so you all know. And uh, we all know who taught her, the best trucker in the world, that would be? Oh, a guy sitting behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Mr. Madness. <laughs> we made so a good team. It was a good day, it was, yes, a, good it was day. a good day. Your dad's hilarious. Yes, he is. Mr. Crashing Bush. Yes. Every time he goes to the bush, we gotta go rescue his shit. No, it's all good. Remember the one time we brought him like 10, fly, 10, 10 spare tires because he got 10 flat? Three, three in one day. Yeah, yeah, it was three flat tires in one day. That three was flat tires in one day. My dad gets loads of wood in the bush. He's uh, a 72 year old man and I'm telling you he's a workaholic. He's never in the house. He goes and cuts the wood, splits the wood, brings it home, piles it. I mean, unbelievable. So I got my work ethic from my dad. That is absolutely 100%. So you swear a lot when you're working? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I do. laughs> a lot of beliefs. We're gonna right have to learn on. how to believe. <laughs> All right. All right. So, another day of trucking again. It's a nice freaking Kenworth. Shout out to my boss again, the company I work for, for lending us this magnificent, beastly truck. And of course, the float. Wouldn't be able to do things without him, you know, going to mud bogs. That kind of thing, even helping out something like my dad and father-in-law there, you know, everything we do, we gotta thank the boss, man. You'll never find a boss like this one ever again in your life. So if you're a trucker, an AZ driver, you're in our area, come on down and work for us. We're all, we are looking for drivers. Got lots of work, lots of brand new trucks. And yeah, shout out to Robert Rubino Trucking. For sure. So that'll do it for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Madness over here. We're gonna go do some groceries. So uh, once again, we'd like to thank you for uh, watching our video and... Don't forget to like and subscribe. And ring the bell so you know when we have new videos coming out. See you next time. <laughs>